What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video we're talking about an exciting new silver company to the channel and that company is called Impact Silver. Now as you guys know we've been following the price of gold and silver for quite some time. Now it's looking pretty good on the charts and I wanted to introduce this company to you guys in a full overview format so we're going to go into the stock charts, what the company is all about, their investor presentation. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. We have talked about the company before but this is more so a full in-depth video and I did want to say this video is sponsored by Impact Silver that is the company that we're talking about so check the description down below for full disclosure details last but not least guys thank you so much for supporting the channel and all the videos if you do support my channel and it means the world to me then kindly explode that like button it takes just one second of your time along with smashing that subscribe button and ringing the market bell for notifications and let's get straight into this video so feel free to offer some comments down below what you guys think about Impact Silver but the one interesting thing about this company is it's almost one of the best ways to play you know the silver market or the silver bullion market you could say right here on their investor presentation we will dive into this a little bit later on but it's one of the purest silver publicly listed companies with over 90 percent plus of their revenues coming from silver so silver goes up this stock tends to you know go up as well now i wanted to take a look at the charts because there's some things here that I really like and it looks like this stock is still in a nice uptrend. What we've seen on the six month chart is this stock consistently hitting higher lows, higher lows. Looks like we've you know leveled out around the mid 90 cent range and if silver breaks out I do expect this too as well so we might want to keep this stock on our watch list but let's take a look and see what the company is all about and some interesting things about the company. So with just over a 100 million dollar market cap Impact Silver is traded on the TSX Venture under ticker symbol IPT. Taking a look at the charts for silver itself, we've bounced off of around the low $22 per ounce range. And as we know, with more stimulus on the way, this could be really good for 2021 for the metals. So let's take a look at Impact Silver. You can head on over to their website, impactsilver.com. Impact Silver operates two silver production centers with its 100% owned 211 square kilometer claim package located three hours southwest of Mexico City. Since the first day of production in 2016, Impact Silver has aspired to develop the purest silver mining company publicly traded, unlocking the potential of the well-documented royal mines of Zacualpan district. So one thing I've noticed guys, with a lot of the silver producers, not all of their revenues are coming from silver. So this is one of the purest place silver companies and that is a really interesting thing about the company, especially if you're looking for, you know, some of the purest exposure to silver itself. A lot of the other companies, you know, they may have 60% coming from silver. Impact is over 90%. So first let's take a look at some of their recent news, you know, in order, and then we're gonna take a look at their investor presentation. So Impact Silver announces its financial and operating results for Q3 period ending September 30th. So. I just wanted to go over a few of the important details. The company reported 4.8 million in revenues for Q3 compared to 3.5 million due to improved metal prices and ongoing operational efficiencies. The company delivered strong net income of 0.9 million and EBITDA of 1.4 million, representing a 28% EBITDA margin. This is a stark contrast to the net loss of 0.2 million and EBITDA of 0.3 million in Q3 2019. Mine operating earnings before amortization and depletion were 2.1 million in Q3 2020 compared to 0.7 million in Q3 2019. So I wanted to point that out because they recently did announce this at the end of November, just a few weeks ago, and the results were pretty awesome. And then going back just another two weeks, Impact Silver is pleased to announce the commencement of a 900 meter trenching program on the Manto America Gold Target area of the Royal Mines of Zaculpan District in Mexico. Impact operates producing silver mines in the district, but the center of the district is marked by gold mineralization, which includes the bulk tonnage Manto America target. So there's some more exciting news, but let's dive into their investor presentation now and see what the company is all about. So 14 years of exploration and production success in Mexico. Purest silver, publicly listed company with over 90 plus percent of their revenues coming from silver. So once again, very tied to the price of silver. If you're looking for almost a pure play silver mining and exploration company, this could be the one. So why impact silver? Pure play silver producer with a tremendous five to one leverage to increasing silver prices. So that's the thing, you know, the miners and the explorers, they tend to be a leverage play on the commodity itself. So 
they're saying in their investor presentation, roughly a five to one leverage on the price of silver. So that's pretty awesome. Near term production growth and near mine exploration upside. District exploration upside, hundreds of vein targets and over 5,000 historic workings across the property. 100% ownership of two mineral districts covering 211 square kilometers in Mexico state in South Central Mexico. In our 15th year of continuous production at the Royal Mines of Zacualpan Silver District, over 10 million ounces of silver produced since acquiring the operation in 2006. Strong balance sheet with 6 million in cash, no debt and positive cash flow from operations. Which does say a lot because for the size of this company, they're already profitable. Decent cash position. It's looking pretty good. Superior leverage to rising silver prices, experienced improving leadership team. Silver sale to largest electronics co in the world, Samsung, potential non dilutive expansion financing. So that is another highlight. So let's take a look at a few more of the highlights. So long term stable production over the last 12 months, they sold 695,000 ounces of silver and generated 1.7 in mine level EBITDA. Near term growth, expanding production from Vita Negra OP mine, high grade veins traced over 650 meters. Q1 sample 205 grams per ton over 22.7 meters. Exciting new Chapaniel discovery, sampled 97.5 grams per ton and 97.9 grams per ton over true width of 0.7 meters. So in terms of the share ownership, 70% of retail own the company, institutional and funds own 20%, which includes Eric's brought Silver ETF, Commodity Discovery Capital, and management owns 10%. So decent skin in the game from management. Royal Mines of Zakwell Pan, 500 plus years of production, 10 million ounces produced since 2006. One of the peers, silver producers with 90 plus percent of revenues from silver in Q1 of 2020. So as we can see here, guys, silver production has been fairly steady. And the Royal Mines of Zacualpan overview of the mining processing assets. So Guadalupe, 38% of Q1 2020 production. Historic producer located beside Guadalupe producing plant and restarted in 2018. Epithermal silver lead zinc veins. Vita Negra, small open pit operation with commenced production in September 2019. Four kilometers northwest of Guadalupe Mill, 17% of Q1 2020 production. San Ramen, 22% of Q1 2020 production. Began production in 2004, current high-grade silver production from large vein at depth, San Ramon Deeps, 22% Q1 2020 production. And then Shuhara began production in 2013, corridor of epithermal veins linking new and legacy mines. Production is from medium-grade epithermal silver and lead zinc veins, 23% of Q1 2020 production. So here's a little operations update. Operations restarted in early of June 2020 following the countrywide suspension of mining activities due to this global illness. Impact has an active virus monitoring, prevention and response program in place that complies with all government health and safety standards. Mine and local communities are currently global illness free and have only one case since the outbreak due to strict travel and safety protocols. So a little bit more about this, uh, you know, the Royal Mines of Zakualpan District. One of the oldest mining districts in the Americas, almost 500 years of recorded mining history, dating all the way back to 1531 by the Spanish crown. Impact's exploration work has cataloged over 5,000 old mine workings and 42 historic processing plants, indicating extensive historical mining, large exploration potential, and forming an invaluable database for modern and effective exploration. So the geology of their epithermal vein system, and I'm not going to attempt to explain all of this, but I will touch on a few quick things so the metal zoning and mineral shoots silver rich at the top gold copper at depths of over 300 plus meters so the San Ramon the Guadalupe and the Chuhara mine all sit in terms all sit you know between 0 to 300 meters with silver rich at the top then we've got the Carlos Pachico San Juan zone Chapanial target and the Manto America bulk tonnage target with gold copper at depths of 300 plus meters. So that's some interesting geology. Hopefully we can get Impact Silver CEO on to um, explain a little bit more as to what the company is all about. But I wanted to run over this investor presentation and put this stock on your watch list for you know this potential run that we may get in the precious metals. I personally have been covering the metals for a long time as you guys know. We've talked a lot about silver and gold. And Impact Silver, you know, with over 90 plus percent of their revenues coming from silver, it's a really interesting way to play the actual commodity itself. Like they said in the investor presentation, 
roughly a five to one leverage play on the actual price of silver. So keep this one in your watch list, guys. That's it for the introduction. Let me know what you think in the comments, if you own the stock, if you like the stock, and um, that'll be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we can get their CEO on sometime soon. So always remember, guys, Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you make your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. We'll see you guys in our next video. And once again, this video was sponsored by Impact Silver. Check the description. With full disclosure details, we're out of here. Thank you.